music industry is lying to you. It is telling you that you are excited. And you are excited. And you are excited. Or rather, you have confused excitement with the fear of missing out. Which is understandable as these two feelings are very closely related. Focusing as they do on the heart and the groin and ending in a bloody mess, pregnancy tests and too little sleep. A survey says that shouting inanities in a regional accent is valuable to culture. Look at EastEnders, Soccer AM or the Queen's Speech. A survey says paedophiles run the BBC, but look at the alternatives. Drowning men clutching at straws through the bell and helmet. Sad woman dreaming of being owned by them. The children, eventual despoilers of high streets, clad head to toe in menstrual blood. Screaming sexual insults into bedroom mirrors is a sad belief it will empower them. And it will empower them. And it will empower them. At least that's what it says on my cereal packet. That's what it says on my receipt from the Apple store. Good Lord. identify the bloody bodies of my loved ones. They were killed whilst watching a new television show on the MTV network. One where Kim Kardashian is chased through woodland by a giant bear wearing a mask which carries the visage of recently deceased film director Michael Winner. The bear has apparently not qualified for a workplace pension and is angry with Daniel Day-Lewis for what he perceives to be the relative lack of action in There Will Be Blood, which he otherwise enjoyed but found a little precious for his taste. Anyway, after 20 minutes of panic running around, intercut with interviews with friends and other celebrities, the production team behind the show all simultaneously come to the same horrifying conclusion. They have wasted the precious gift of life which has been given to them by science. They start attacking themselves with the nearest available objects, breaking off camera tripods to ram them bloodily into each other's eyes, climbing up the highest branches of trees to fall face down onto the pulsing earth, the whole time shrieking and screaming with the sudden primal vigor of lost souls who have forgotten language and seem intent on shouting their black hearts from their gray and semi-erect. To chests. Quiet. They face the pigs. They face the pigs. They were. They face the pigs. They face the pigs. They were. Anyway, my family members, otherwise enjoying a restful Sunday afternoon, spent basking in the Christian lie of a benevolent and loving God, witness this horror through the prism of the television set. Concentrated howl of psychic and bloodied anguish which is 